Hello and welcome. My name is Aaron and thanks for swinging by the Auto Trading Channel. This is Trade Station Thursdays and this is episode one. Our main focus here at Auto Trading is to dive deep into the code of automated trading strategies. Today, I'm going to quickly walk you through the basics of the code of TradeStation. That way, you know where to go and what to look for as we dive deep into TradeStation's code. So without further ado, let's dive into it. So one key distinction to make between TradingView and TradeStation is that TradeStation is a brokerage. They're like E-Trade. They're like TD Ameritrade or Robinhood. So you'll need to prove your identity and fund your account first before progressing to the next steps. But don't worry, I'll show you where to go and how to get started. So go to tradestation.com. If you don't have an account yet, you'll need to click on open account. You'll need to follow the steps and uh, prove who you are and you'll need to fund your account. I believe that the minimum is around $2,000. So you can definitely double check that at the time of watching this and signing up. But know that TradeStation is more than just charting software, um, whereas TradingView, you can just sign up and start charting. Whereas TradeStation, they need a little bit more from you. All right, now once you get signed up with TradeStation and you download the software, uh, you log in and this is what you see. Uh, this gentleman right here, uh, Jesus Nava, he has a one hour introduction to the program if you have the time and you want to do that walkthrough. But we just want to see a chart, we want to see an indicator, we want to see the code. So down here at the bottom is where you can have a whole row of different workspaces. And so you click on this little plus icon and here we go, it pulls up a new workspace and it gives us access to all the apps that TradeStation offers. So the main two that we are going to focus on are chart analysis and the easy language. All right, we're going to pull up a chart, we're going to get a code on it, and then we want to go into the code and we want to modify it. And so chart analysis, we'll tuck away our apps up here, and we can always get back to. Also, you can pull up multiple charts close out of this one we don't need it let's expand this guy so now let's add an indicator these fall under studies you can go up to the studies right here and click add study or later we'll add strategies or you can just right click on the chart and you can click studies add study here's the MACD because I was playing around in here a little bit earlier but as you know it is alphabetical and if you're gonna to go to the MACDs you can just type M and it'll pull you right to it. Let's click OK. Now our MACD is on the chart, very familiar. You have your green and your red, your MACD line, your signal line, just like we know. Now let's move on to the code. So to do that, go back up to apps and let's click on easy language. Now go up to file and then let's click on open. And as you can see, we have quite a few options and you might be wondering what's an activity bar, what's a show me, what's a paint bar. We will get into these later uh, because they're very, um, visually helpful um, some of these other things but right now we're gonna focus on the indicator and the strategy folders right here we just want to pull up our MACD I'm gonna click here I'm gonna type M to go to the M's there's our MACD I'm gonna click on open and voila there is our code it definitely looks similar uh, it's set up very, very the same way as we saw on Tuesday in uh, Trading View. You have a couple sections here. You know, here is your intro section. Here are your inputs. Here are your variables. Oh, collapse that. Here are your variables. You then have the equations, the math side of it, 
and they also have this set up um, natively for alerts. Um, you know, pretty simple. You know, if the MACD crosses over, you know, the zero line or crosses the signal line, then send me an alert. But really cool that they have the code right here for us. So if we were doing a strategy, we would also have that order execution section. You know, the one that says, kind of like the alert, you know, whenever the MACD line crosses the signal line, then buy, you know, or sell. And then how long do you hold on to that position? And so we will definitely get into strategies. That is what this channel is all about. Um, but moving back up to the top, right? This intro section right here. This one is not necessary for TradeStation. Um, it was in TradingView, but it's not necessary here. I would suggest that you keep it. It's a great way to, you know, name uh, the code that you're about to type out. And give yourself a description. You know, you might be making multiple MACDs of your own and you can just give yourself some helpful hints. Something to note, the green text means that uh, easy language won't compile it. It just uh, kind of hides it. <laughs> I hid, this is really cool, in here uh, earlier and I want to show you that I come down, I just right clicked on this and if you come in and make a change and then right click and verify and down here it says zero errors er, uh, zero errors and zero warnings so this text is just for you when it's green and there's two ways to do that you can do those uh, curly brackets the braces you can type something in here and then you can close it right or and you could do uh, two forward slashes and that would do if I could type do the same thing on the forward brackets you are forward slashes you don't have to do anything afterwards because the next line uh, it won't continue whereas with these curly brackets you do you have to close it out So your input section, I'm not going to go line by line for a second time, but just real quick, this is that area that you identify the initial variable or integer or input value of um, what we want our code to call upon. So you see inputs, fast link, slow link, etc. We come back over here to the chart. I'm going to right click. I'm going to go down to studies and I'm going to go to edit studies. And then I'm going to click on customize because I want you to see right here. We have inputs of the MACD code and you have your fast link, slow link. And so the inputs that we set in the code then show up here so we can quickly change them on the fly uh, whenever we're you know, working. We don't have to always go back into the code to make some changes. So that's really nice. Let me pull up the code again. And so this is where we set those parameters. Moving down, you have the variables section. These are kind of our personal reserve words that we're going to use later. And then here they are, and we're defining them. We're giving them math making our equations and then from those equations it gives us data points that we can plot on a chart and here's that uh, plotting section additionally we have the alert code here as well something i didn't explain uh, was the rest of the colors <laughs> and so this blue is the reserve word uh, or reserve words, I should say. And so these are words that EZ Language has permanently made their own. And you can't use it unless you're using it for that specific purpose. So let's just click right here. 
uh, excuse me, right click and then go to definition of inputs. Let me drag this over and you can see TradeStation gives you a definition of the input reserved word. Really nice. The same thing with, let me find magenta. There you go, MACD. You right click, definition of MACD. Well, what is magenta? It is their built in functions. And so you can just type MACD and it will call upon the math needed to create the MACD function. And so very nice, uh, very courteous of them to do that for us and really make it a easy language. Additionally, you have this orange kind of red color right here. And that is identifying um, helpful hints and tips that you can place in the customize section and you can all the stuff that you identify in here you know if if you're sharing this with anybody or once you're a hundred indicators deep <laughs> you're like what did my fast length mean well if you identify it here then whenever you're working with it or someone else is working with it on the chart and they hover over a tooltip area they'll see so that's really nice I think those were all the colors yeah and so that is kind of the summary of actually actually I want to just kind of reiterate one more time you have your inputs and you have your variables and those together uh, you can start making your equations and then those equations identify data points and then we can plot those ident those data points we can make alerts off those data points or we can make strategies hey buy because of XYZ and it just the code kind of it flows you know the inputs of the variables go into the equations which go into the order executions or the plots or the alerts So there you have it. My fellow automates, that is the structure of some basic code in TradeStation. And now you have a basic understanding of at least where to go, uh, kind of what to look for, and what's going on within the code if, if you didn't know before. And so we're releasing videos for TradingView on Tuesdays and TradeStation on Thursdays. I'd love to have you for both but definitely look around for those videos dropping on those specific dates. And with all that being said, to whomever, whenever, and however this finds you, I hope that it finds you well, and I hope to see you again soon.